A little bird told me that INTJs have a bit of a difficulty with pessimism. And so in this video, I want to give you a couple pointers and tips on how to get past that and create the reality that you know you want to. What's up, Legend? It's Sherman here from Geek Psychology, helping you find your true character and level it up so you can play life better. INTJs, pessimistic, perhaps, realist, perhaps. <laughs> the core concept here that I want to talk about is you as an INTJ, you, your hero, your class is this visioning mystic. Okay, go with me on the RPG kind of story model here. And that that's all about seeing that long range, that long distance vision and and making it come true, bringing it into reality of going through that kind of like crystallizing phase, you know, bringing out the situation and then manifesting. And going through that requires a lot of distance, requires a lot of cerebral, you know, of thinking, of uh, trusting your unconscious mind, of trusting the universe. And so when something happens, a lot of times you, you might just say, oh, you know, I, I got lucky. It just kind of happened or oh, whatever. You know, it's the the thing here is though, like the reason why you can make it happen and and how you can have more confidence in your abilities and your strengths is leaning heavily into your auxiliary function, extroverted thinking. This is the strategizing commander within the RPG model. This is about setting things up, setting the circumstances up, measuring them, getting intentional progress towards achieving your goals. And a lot of that comes through delegating tasks. It comes through creating your plan and actually following through with it, not just creating it within your head and seeing all the connections and, and all that, but like actually taking the actions needed to push forward to make those a reality. And that's hard. That's hard for me too. I feel you on that because extroverted thinking, I'm an INFP. That's my inferior function. That's that's my limit. That's my maverick within my team. And it is it's bad. It's hard. It's hard. I, I get you. I, I feel you. But you have a strength in it. You know, this is your, this is one of your superpowers. This is what gives you an edge over other INJs and other people just in general. You know, your it's one of your superpowers is to say, okay, I have this vision. I know how these things are going to work out or how they should work out. I have this idea that like I just, I need to bring out into reality. And in order to do that, you need to push yourself into that offensive extroverted realm of things. You need to push yourself forward to take the actions, maybe even charge in there. You don't necessarily think of a commander as the one in front, but they can be. They're the leader. You know, they're, they're the ones that that's like standing up there and saying, okay, everybody, this is the vision and this is where we want to go with it. So come with me. You need to do this. You need to do this. You need to do this. I got this. Let's go. And you, you set up all that structure and you have the whole system working to maintain your vision. I was going to say fuel your vision, but it's not really fueling your vision, right? It's like the vehicle and your vision is the, I just went cross-eyed. It's like, it's like the strategizing commander sets up the system, sets up the framework, the, the vehicle, and your introverted intuition is the one that's fueling it of giving it that energy to move in the direction that you know you need to be. Like introverted intuition is saying, okay, this is this is the goal. This is where we're going, right? It's pinpointing, it's putting a, a pin in the map. In the mat, oh no, God, that's me. A pin in the map and saying like, you know, this is where we're going, this is where we are. How do we get there? You know, these are the obstacles, but how do we get there? Well, that's the strategizing commander going in there. And remember, you know, if you're watching this as an INTJ, you probably already know your cognitive functions and everything like that. But remember that your tertiary function is introverted feeling. It's the resonating empath. That's all about how you feel. It's, it's that defensive, going to protect my heart situation, right? And it, it's that point of relief when you don't want to push yourself out there, when you don't want to do the strategizing commander stuff, you go into how you feel about a thing. You latch on tight about it. And that also keeps you from being wrong and in order to progress in life we have to be wrong you just have to you you can't be perfect at everything or, or you're not doing anything you're not you're not making enough mistakes if you're always correct and in order to do that i mean that also means that your your 
goal needs to be big enough that you can still make mistakes. Does that make sense? Like if, if it's just, a, I'm going to wake up today and I'm going to brush my teeth. Like that's, that's not a very spectacular goal. That's not a legendary, that's not a hero type goal. And you know that too. You know, I'm just messing around. But if you're just looping back between the visioning mystic and the resonating empath, what do I see? How do I make it feel correct? How do I make it feel right? You're not taking the actions that you need to do to manifest it into reality. And that is one of the key aspects of, um, I think, being more optimistic because you are taking charge of the world. You're taking charge and control of the outer circumstances. It's like Dr. Strange or Magneto, okay? It's it's saying this is, I, I've got this mystic capability. I've got, I can read people's minds. I can read the situation, um, but I need to use some, some metal to put it into, to action. I need to warp reality around my vision to make it work out properly. And it's hard. So how do you do it? Well, the simplest thing is, and this is coming from somebody with very low TE, is to just set a goal and say, what's the first step I can take? And what's the second step? What's the third step? What's the smallest thing that I need to do, that I need to put into place in order to start taking action, in order to start moving this this vehicle towards where I want it to go? You know, and then of course you can measure it. You can measure your progress. You can track it and stuff like that. Um, but really just taking that first action and trusting that whatever feedback comes, it's, it's readjusting, it's reshaping reality and you're going to pick it up and then you're going to say, okay, well, I still want this thing to happen. So what do I need to do with this, this bit of feedback right here? How can I shift this to realign with the thing that I want? Or is this really still what I want? Maybe because I got that feedback, this is actually the thing I want. Like in, in Avengers, um, Infinity Wars, Dr. Strange saw all the different possibilities, all the different, you know, potential versions of reality. And he saw the one that could work and he set up the situation in order to do it. Like watch the movie again and you'll see that like he constructed the situation in a way that he could at the right time act and create the rest of the, the movements necessary to happen. You know, but he had to act, he had to do it. He had to make a sacrifice. He had to plan for it and actually take the actions. And that's hard, but you can do it. You just got to do it and trust, trust in yourself, trust in the world, trust in your unconscious to pick up all the, the pieces and keep pushing forward. So let me know down below in the comments what has helped you in this video, what, you know, saying to you, what stood out. And if you have any other issues, any problems, struggles as an INTJ, please let me know down below in the comments because I want to get back into doing more cognitive function related videos as well because it just feels good to do. I love it. All right. Keep up the lifelong quest and good luck. Have fun. Peace.